fabulous to be here, everybody. Um, look, I wanted to start by thanking everyone for making the time to join this presentation. Um, and just to say, it's been fabulous to hear from the other panelists about how they are leveraging the elegance and the simplicity of PV modules that originally attracted me to this industry to drive further improvements in both efficiency and cost. At 5B, we are passionate about wielding these same principles of success and applying them downstream to revolutionize the deployment of solar PV. Uh, as Sam said, I'm 5B's Chief of Strategy. I have an undergraduate degree and PhD in solar energy engineering from UNSW, specialising in device physics. Um, and before joining 5B, I spent 10 years working with Bain and Company in strategy consulting. So like many people who have joined 5B, I kind of watched their evolution from the outside and became increasingly convinced of the way that 5B sees the challenge in the solar industry and how we are solving it. So more on that. I wanted to start by talking about the problem we see in the industry. Despite rapid growth in solar installation, the current share of global electricity generated by solar is still only 2%, and we're just not transitioning to clean energy fast enough. So let's unpack what's driving this. When I started out in the industry, and this will date me, the cost of modules was about $5 a watt. And that module cost, and more specifically silicon cost, absolutely dominated the full cost of installation. Given that there was a significant focus on maximising the yield from these modules to improve project economics. Today, thankfully, as we've heard, that is no longer the case, with module costs now less than one tenth of what they were, thanks to enormous improvements in efficiency and scale economics. Because of these improvements, about five years ago, we reached an interesting inflection point when balance of system costs, the construction costs, steel, concrete, labour, started to outweigh module costs in a project. And this continues to be the case today. So why is this? Why hasn't innovation in balance of systems kept up? Um, I think it's because, unfortunately, the elegance, the simplicity of a one by two metre ever growing photovoltaic module essentially stops at the factory door and conventional methods that get these beautiful modules into the field and generating electricity remain slow, in situ, labor intensive, risky and costly, as you can see in this picture. In short, as an industry, we have not succeeded in applying the standardization and productization of a solar module further downstream. And as a result, the continual improvements in module efficiency are being held back by conventional construction. This quote here from Jim Hughes, the CEO of Solar, has stuck in my mind since 2015. Scale array from scratch on a clean sheet of paper with no prior contamination, what you would build would look different than what we build today. The solution to this problem is to apply productization, standardization, and automation to drive a full paradigm shift from old school project by project delivery in the field with a construction mentality to mass production with rapid deployment. A paradigm shift like this enables three things. Firstly, a simpler, prefabricated, standardized and engineered design. Secondly, a much smarter and more efficient supply chain where the focus is shifted from a highly variable and risky field environment to a factory environment, which is inherently efficient, lower cost, highly scalable, results in better quality and enables risk to be appropriately mitigated. Thirdly, significantly faster on-site deployment and integration by leveraging factory-based speed, efficiency and scale versus in-situ construction. In short, this paradigm shift is about taking time, cost, and risk from the field, which as, as you would know, is just a terrible place to manage it, to a factory environment, which is an absolutely fabulous place to manage it, which all my module colleagues have experience in and have built their success on. As we know, there are no geotech risks or wet weather events in a factory. This solution presents the simplest, smartest, fastest and lowest cost approach to deploy a solar farm. 
At 5B, we have developed our flagship Maverick product that does just this. So how do we do it? Step one, we prefabricate a Mav block of between 40 and 90 panels in a factory and pack it up into a container. The containers are then shipped to site, deployment ready, and with very high shipping density. A team of three people and a forklift using standard tools and equipment are then able to deploy the Maverick rapidly at a rate of about one megawatt per week using 80% less labor on site and enabling three times faster end-to-end -end project deployment. Moreover, because we do not have requirements for significant trenching or piling, we dramatically reduce geotech risk on site and simplify site prep requirements. We also deploy our panels east-west to enable the highest possible ground coverage ratio. This means we generate about 1.5 to two times more energy from the same amount of land versus conventional fixed tilt single axis tracking solutions. Furthermore, the Maverick solution is zero waste, no plastic, no cardboard. We deal with all of this in the factory instead and every single, all the materials that come to site stay on site. The Mavs are readily integrated into complete solar farm solutions that produce energy sooner and create value sooner. All of this results in a lower cost of energy, which is the true test of how good a solution is. Finally, our solution is also readily redeployable, so it can be packaged up and redeployed in a new site if it is no longer needed, which is particularly relevant for the mining industry. So here you can see the speed of deployment in action in South Australia, Port Bernaithen, where we deployed 2.1 megawatts of our Maverick solution for AGL, who were engaged by Santos. We managed to do this with a team of three people in just 21 days. So don't blink, you might just miss it. Um, here, you can see a one megawatt site in WA at Karuzi Dam, which we provided to our delivery partner and customer, Nomadic Energy. This project was a demonstration of how far downstream we can take the power of our approach, which is to achieve a complete solar solution in a box that is modular in nature and can be readily and rapidly scaled. The cabling solution shown here is quite beautiful, I think. And because we use half the land that versus a conventional solar farm, our land area associated costs like cabling are also significantly reduced. This project was also a teaser of our ability to enable flexible solar solutions due to the redeployability of the Maverick. This one megawatt solar farm was provided to Nomadic Energy on a short five year commitment and resulted in 40% lower cost of energy from our solar versus their incumbent diesel solution. So watch this space for more innovative solutions. At 5B, we are growing rapidly through partnership and powerful collaboration with a growing ecosystem of technology partners who integrate into our system, supply chain partners who assemble our MAV blocks and kits and bring manufacturing expertise to complement our technology innovation, deployment partners who roll out the MAVs in the field, and delivery or value-added reseller partners who use the Maverick product to deliver their projects simpler, faster, smarter, and at lower cost. In fact, it's fabulous to be on this panel with Jinko, who were the first partner to join our ecosystem and warrant our Maverick system with other co-panelists, Longi and Ryzen, following shortly thereafter. All this is to say, we are expanding rapidly and would love to work with you to build this global movement. Please follow our revolution on socials and get in touch to become a customer, a partner, an employee, an investor, or just to learn more. We've got 5 billion years of sun left. The question is, how are we going to use it? Thank you very much. Nicole, how lucky are we to have you in the solar industry? Amazing. Thank you so much. Creating solar farms now looks super easy. I think I might just need to pull one out. And no waste as well. I'm like, I'm, I'm blown away. Thanks, Sam. 